Project Swatch. This is Happy. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the recent killing of a JLP counselor. He lost his life. The same day I dropped the video, I say, you know, any day certain politicians start to see crime up close, we're not going to see how they act different. So, you can imagine, enough people are linked me and I say, why should people go give one crystal ball? Because the politician there, and lose him life. Man, then pull up on him, shoot him up in front of time family. Well, here is the thing. When I say politician, I'm talking about MPs and senators. Let me repeat. When you hear me say politicians, I'm talking about MPs and senators. In other words, the people them who can make or break uh, policies in Jamaica. People them who draft up laws, can pass laws, can block laws from coming to reality. I'm not talking about counts like here takers. But nevertheless, this one is a politician and it shouldn't be long before you say they will lamp on somebody in relation to this killing. So, Lennox lines. The my drive guy in my yard and the man them pull up on him, you say with either seven span bike, right? then end up take the left hand side of the vehicle because then kill him under the bridge before you get to Portmore. Right? Based on the videos I see, it look like it's close to a place that them call Aki Village. And them shoot him up on the left hand side. His vehicle is left hand drive. Right? Now the reason I mention that is because the 87 them would have to cut on the inside to get to him. You know normally if they carry a right hand drive, then them can go ahead and overtake, shoot up, right and then go and go in business. But them would have to cut on the inside. So then pull up to him driver side on the left, shoot him up. Right. Based on the video I see, it look like say him pick up some rounds in his head because which part of the rounds him enter the vehicle is right about which part him head with daddy. So it's up close. This is how 87s carry out majority of them shootings. Them catch you up close, point blank range, and then them take your life. 87s are not interested in a long range shootout. They're not interested in you firing back. They want to catch you off guard up close, but them can't miss even if they try. We used say his family was in the vehicle, his daughter, right, was there. Regardless of who Lennox signs is, and what him involved in her, that is unfortunate. Right? No child should have to witness their parent dying. But 87s don't care. They don't care if your granny had a care. They don't care if your neighbor had a care, your son had a care, daughter had a care. Them come to carry out a mission and that's all them interested in. We can at least give thanks, say the child never pick up the rounds. So, we have to at least give thanks for that. I look at silver lining in the cloud. The next sign is a politician that know what it's like to get charged for murder. Yes, the next sign is the same politician we see him kill. Was charged for murder and that was in relation to a 2007 killing. So as you can remember, in 2007 there was an election. And in the build up to the election, you know it got ready, people had them campaigning. People are put out them posters. Well, man starts say people are tear down them posters. People get in a confrontation. Next thing you know, a man by the name of Ora Livermore, right? and I think it was two other individuals, pick up rounds because the man them are say, right, them are tear down them posters. So them go confront the man them, shot fire, people did. Lennox Hines was charged for that murder. He was the one that was pointed out as the one where basically run the program or put out the hit on the man name. Right. This was extraordinary at the time. It's extraordinary now. Now you're wondering to yourself, well, him that road so I go on. Well, him bust the case. In other words, he was acquitted. Because as is often the case, things got spooky with the witness and then you know what that mean? No case. So all of the accused were found not guilty. This is the first thing the Knox supporters will tell you. He was found not guilty. To that I would say, so was JJ Nakis. So was Sci-Fi. So was Dark Power. So was Bigger Crime. So on 
and so forth. So yes, him did bust the case. But I can't help but wonder how many countries in the world have serving politicians who have been charged for murder. I've seen political careers end in foreign countries for much less than that. But in Jamaica, you know it got ready. And you know people have got ready. He wasn't convicted, so that means saying, quote unquote, innocent. So leave him alone, you chat too much, mind your own business. But this is relevant information. People of Jamaica need to know, say, the counselor who recently lost his life was at one point charged for murder. Plus, the area where Lenox is responsible for, Southboro, water going over there, tension is very high. So, I say all that for say, there could be various angles where this is coming from. This was obviously a contract killing. The people them who send the 87 them must have a lot of resources, must feel confident because they know that even though he wasn't a big time MP or senator, he still have some kind of talk in our politics. So some kind of pressure that will come down to get this solved. So I know PIA thing already. So far, there are multiple theories as to who or why him losing life. But you know, so we do the joke thing over here, so we make sure that the intel is solid before we get to them. We don't even want to give them the theories then yet. Right? We put together everything right? before the public. Right, get a better understanding as to what one. But a counselor, what's that one level down from MP? Very interesting. So my question will come out of this and as soon as you get the updates, I will pass it on. Now, before we done the video, I want to talk about a couple more things. One of them is the facts that you might have heard already say four people already bust the case on the Clansman trial. And there might be more. We have to just watch and see who walk a walk. But I have a list in my head of the real high value targets where if them bust the case, then Spanish Town I will get real, real spooky. After all the hype, after all the build up, now we're getting down to the final moments. Remember the lawyers them still are putting no case submission. The judge still a look on them case. Eh? So all we can do is sit back and wait. But four of the man them walk already, so that left 29. The next thing I want to talk about from the video is in case you haven't heard some 87s went by the snake's mother business place right, and shoot one I work at them so on the north say this summer is going to be very hot in Mobi. they are already telling us say, things are going to escalate they look like say the gloves are off there are no more rules anything goes june was supposed to be the month when time things cool on Mobi. well time I run out. I'm guessing they mean June 30th. So that means they have 30 days. 30 days to start out what on in a mobile. That is going to be a hell of a task especially considering say, things just went down with J-Man and him kerosene and the youth them were linked with Fred. But what is really frustrating to me is that I know for a fact that there are people in the JCF and the JDF who are serious about crime fighting. But we keep on telling us eh, the powers that be are not doing enough. The government is not doing enough. You must understand how things work in a country like Jamaica. When you hear me say they make the call, I'm not talking about one constable making the call or one sergeant making the call. I'm talking about the big wigs, the people actually call the shots. The reason why enough police no come out come say this, or enough JDF no come out come say this, is because they want to keep them job. But if them could tell you, you would hear say a lot of them feel shackled. It's like you have a doberman pincher. Him could have be the meanest dog in the whole town. Thief walk past say yeah, and looking at him and then free. But then one day the thief him realize say him chain up. You have this big bad doberman pincher and in chain up. You think thief business about dog will chain up? He might walk right in the yard and do as he please. There are elements in the JDF and JSF that are being severely held back. Right, as I say, they now come on TV come say this because career at risk. But people know what go on. Remember Preke Boy? One time I tell them say, when things get too loud and too embarrassing, the car come down. I want to see what happened to Pricky Boy 
and the boy send the money and go in the community. Walk up and down for one three four hours, take some picture and say, well, we've increased the presence and then left. No for them place there are some lane. So you can lean lane where you can walk out in that 30 minutes. But not remember say police work for the government. JDF work for the government. So that is why I always talk about government. That is why I always talk about politics. Because they are the leaders. And you have to look to the leaders first. When shipping a problem, you look at the captain first. And the captain is responsible for the ship. The captain and him first mate and the people him who call the shots are them responsible for the ship. You know, walk around, right, and I focus on the man, he just clean the ship and the man will, you know, turn on one switch and so. The job of the captain is to make sure that so the ship gets to its destination in one piece. And if the ship sink, are the captain fault. And if the ship reach to the dock, are the captain are the reason why it reach. All the blame and all the success. This is about leadership. Too much people in Jamaica only want to be leaders when a good thing. When something good happen, they turn up, take all the pictures, take all the plaudits and say a cause of them. But you know it got ready. Iron man. No problem man. With a couple of asterisks. Because I put it on the screen to show now what the asterisks them mean. Plebs need not apply. Jamaica is paradise for some people. You must understand this. This is why no matter how much people are dead at Jamaica, there's a certain demographic that will never jump on a plane and leave. Because you're living in a different Jamaica. Heaven and hell. But for some other people, I hell. Anyway, Peter Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, you don't know, no life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.